you guys, we are here for the final episode of season two of Kuroko's Basketball, Kuroko no Basket. And Sarian versus Yosin, it's been a battle. It's been a long battle. We've seen the ups and downs of our team. You know, Tepe, he had an early exit, but he probably is going to come back in this episode because, you know, he said, all I need is one minute, two minutes, like, Coach, come stretch me out real quick, and then let me just lay, lay down. Let me gain some strength back, and then we're going to be good to go. And then Kagami entered the zone. He was doing his thing. He turned it up. Let's see if it can still last because they're on the bench right now. He's obviously going to get tired. It won't last much longer. But, um, yeah, Kurogo did his thing. Let's see how this plays out because Murasaki Bar was about to give up in the last episode. He was about to just throw in the towel, and then he got popped in his jaw. And that John pissed him off. And he said, you know what? You disgust me so bad. I'm going to finish this game. Because you just dropped tears on my face. You disgust me. So let's just finish this game so you can get off my back. That dude was a dick. But um, yeah, let's see how this plays out. Because the winner of this game is going to go on to play Kisei's team. Now, you know what, you know what we want to see. But um, yeah, make sure you go to the Patreon. The link is down below in the description. So you can get this. And all the other Kuroko reactions way ahead of time and full and uncut. So, um, yeah, if you're seeing this on YouTube, bro, you're behind. Like, you're way behind. Come to the Patreon. It's a good time. We got all that. So, um, yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do all that right now so you don't forget to do it at the end. And, um, yeah, that's it. Let's get into it. Season finale. They're fired up. They amped up. And he put his hair up. He full on Aaron Jaeger right now. The attack titan. Aaron Jaeger. Aaron Jaeger. Oh yeah, he did say he hates losing, bro. It's crazy. He said he hates losing, but he was willing to give up because he thought they was going to lose. Contradiction, bro. His whole shot. Kagami can block it, though. Oh, no. His zone is out. Yeah, his zone is wearing off. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, the, in this game, you lost the battle between you two. For sure. What, you gonna do pass? Yeah, I knew it. Because Kagami still had that smother. Oh, yeah, bro. You're not blocking that. Wow. Nah, Kagami's... Bro. What? I thought that was in for sure. I didn't I didn't see that. I didn't see that coming. But he might force this one in. Murasaki Bar might force this one in, though. Oh, he passed? Two mid-air passes? Yeah. Nah, Kagami can't get that. Huh. Turn up Kagami. Kagami at the point. Man, you can't hang. Who? Pump fake. Behind the back. That can't be a shot. That was raw. That shit was raw. Oh my gosh. Behind the back alley. What? Yo, these alleys are off the charts, bro. Jammed it. Head top. Yeah, you know I had to get my get back, bro. Because we already saw the MJ dunk in the last episode. I'll be damned if the net come down on me and I don't get my get back. You're crazy. Must be I show mine. Out of bounds. Gather, gather. Timeout. Sub, sub, sub. Sub. Tepe's back. There we go. Here we go, the switch up. Lock back in for me real quick. Yeah, bro. You gotta get that. You gotta help me get the vision of you laid out like that out of here, bro. I don't need that in my head anymore. So, Tepe, you better come back on some, on some real gutter timing, bro. I need you bringing out skills that we ain't never seen before. 
I need you wowing me away because that scene that you laid out is still in my brain. That's sick. Wait. <laughs> what? Murasaki Bar did you with sick work, bro. He did you so dirty. I'm sorry. He did you incredibly dirty. The one thing that surprised me about this game, though, is it seems like the big guys haven't got that tired. None of the bigs have seemed like they got that tired, bro. I thought that that, was, that would be something that they placed an emphasis on. Like, because of their size, that they would, like, tire out. But it hasn't really been seen. That's weird. Especially Murasaki Bar. It's not like he's uh he's a lazy person by nature. So for him to be able to do all this is, and it seems like he's not that tired, then it's kind of crazy. Get up there. This one might get through though. Kuroko there. Oh no, Tebe there. Mmm. That's Wax Huga. I didn't see that coming. Damn, so it was all a mind game. Wow, shout out Huga. Huga with the block. Transition points. Let's get it. We're down four. Mix them up. Nah, now you letting him straight up on you. Oh, that's off. Damn, I thought that was in. So, yeah, it looks like um his zone is over. There we go, Tepe. Three ball. That's money. That's money. Bam. One point game. Let's lock in, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The rumbling. <gasps> no! 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 They said he couldn't do it, though. They dead wrong for this because they playing the music, acting like everything is sweet, bro. No, bro. What do you mean? Kagami's zone is about to end and his is about to begin. The only thing we hope for is he doesn't really get into the zone until it's too late. Oh, double block? Say less. Double block. Crazy. It took two guys to block this dunk, bro. This is insane. This is insane, bro. Yeah, so what I think is going to happen is he's going to get in the zone, but it's going to be too late. He's going to chase that feeling, and then he's going to actually, like, love the game. Oh, my gosh. That was a full dead sprint. Nah, he might be in it already. Yeah, he's in it. The zone. The zone. He's in the zone. He's in the zone. Damn it. Man. <laughs> Shit, they got serious, man. Yeah. There we go. He going plus ultra. He about to try and jam it in again. This could be a formless shot though. What is he doing? Is he going for a formless shot or is he actually going to try and dunk it on him? Bro, this is dog on dog. This is a space jam dunk. Oh my goodness. Head tapped. It's over with. He didn't even touch the rim. Yeah, he literally just uh, threw that bit. No, we still got four seconds. Oh. Ah, oh, Kagami done for. Tepe, it's your time. Oh no, Tepe way too far behind. Where's Kuroko? Where's Kuroko? <gasps> he couldn't jump. He couldn't jump. Thank you. This is what I was waiting for, bro. 
Because Murasaki Bar has been pitched as a, um, a lazy player, so this type of intensity is going to take a toll on his body. Now we're seeing it. I can just toss it in, but you might not toss it in in time. Let me hear that buzzer. There we go, Kuroko. There we go, Kuroko! Could you imagine Kuroko just blocked Murasaki Bara? Yeah! Nah, that's sick work, bro. How'd that make you feel, bro? You just got blocked by Kuroko. The smallest person on the court. That's sick, Murasaki Bara. David versus Goliath. That's insane. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Kisei, we coming for you, bro. Tell Kisei we on the way. Bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Shout out Kuroko. Man. Man, 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 man. Where's Sakibara? He really hit the zone right at the end of the game, though. That shit, I, bro, I, I swear I thought it was over. He's done. Yeah, I figured. Damn, yeah, so it's the other option I said. Dang, bro. It's like that? Mm. Yeah, is that really how you feel, bro? Is that, yo, true deep down? Is that how you feel, bro? Because it's kind of crazy because there's low-key a parallel between them. There we go. Yeah, I figure, bro. Gonna quit. He gonna cry in the car. He gonna go and cry in the car. You bum. Yeah, look at you. You mad. Go get back in the lab, bro. Yeah, look at him crying. Go get back in the lab. Go get back in the lab. This would it feel like to love the game. He's like, yo, back up. <laughs> He's like, yo, back up, bro. Going through it. Nah, I like that, though. Semi-finals on the way, baby. We almost there. We almost there. We almost to the chip. One step at a time, baby. We almost there. Modorma versus Akashi? Is that gonna be the game? <laughs> this the way they looking at each other. I think that's gonna be the game. Okay, I'm getting excited, bro. Nah, come on, you gotta show me some more. Who is this? Who is that? Am I tweaking or what are those braids? Am I bugging or were those braids? Who was that? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot he did drop it in his hand. Yeah, bro. That shit was petty. Like, yo, you doing too much. Like, bro, this is basketball. Like, relax. If I had them like that, life was on the line about this game. Like, bro, it was not that deep, bro. Tatsuya annoying as hell, but, like, bro, it's not that serious. Bro, is this not what Asta and Yuno do all the time? They brothers and they rivals. It is not that deep. Do what you gotta do, man. For being petty. For what? Damn, that's it. That's it for season three. I'm um, season two. That was it for season two, man. So, the biggest shock for me was, yeah, Murasaki Bara. He got in the zone. He ended up getting in the zone. And, um, you know, he his body just gave out on him. Because they made him expand a lot of energy. A lot more energy than he's used to. That's combined with the fact that Tepe was making him work. Kagami had him working. And he ended up going on offense. Like, he expended a lot of energy and it finally took his toll at the end of the game. Because I was waiting to see if that would happen. 
And um, yeah, I'm glad it did because otherwise that was gonna be like a little bit, that would have been a letdown, I won't lie. That would have been a miss from on, on behalf of the show. So um, I'm glad that that finally came into effect, even though it came very late. But um, yeah, apparently he did love the game all along. He's just, he was trying to deny it, I guess. He just he just probably don't love the hustle, but he, he loved the game. But we're going to see how this loss makes him a better player because he's going to want to bounce back. And, um, yeah, semifinals on the way. Kisei, I don't know who they're playing yet. They didn't show us. I'm assuming it's going to be a peon team. I'm, a hope, I'm hoping it's a peon team. They handle business with whoever they playing, and then um, they play us in the semifinals. Because as of right now, the teams that we know are left are where... Sarin, uh, Shitoku, uh, whatever, uh, Akashi school is, and then Kisei school. So, if that's the semifinals, then no doubt Midorima should be playing Akashi. Yeah, and then even the way they were looking at each other at the end of that, uh, at the end of the episode, bro, it looks like that's gonna be a matchup. That looks like it's going to be the matchup, Midorima versus Akashi. And that means we're getting Kisei versus Aomine, part two. But this time in the actual competitive game. So, I'm I'm happy that my wishes are coming true, man. I've been calling it. I've been calling it all along. Like, yo, Kisei, we, we waiting. We waiting for that rematch. We need it. Because that was like early in the entire series. And then they ended off season one showing us what Kisei could do against I don't mean it. Like, bro. They couldn't show us that and then not give us a Serene rematch. Because I feel like that would have been an injustice. So, I'm happy it looks like that's going to happen. I'm just curious who the hell that one dude was. They showed walking at the end. I don't know who that was. But it looked like they had braids. I might be tripping. But, um, we'll probably see who that is in season three. But, yo. This was a war. This was a season, bro. This was a this was a crazy season. I'm trying to think. I think I think this was better than season 1. I'll say that. I think that season 2 was better than season 1. Because we got to see so much growth and we got to see the addition of Tepe into the team and then like, bro, I feel like we came so far in this season. We've seen so much improvements. And we've seen so much um the, the team grew closer and they also got like there's more at stake now we know that this is it for tepe like yo we gotta win there's no other we got no other choice but at the same time we got to see this craziness like the zone we got to see all these different guys and their play styles like it was fun to see it was fun to see the zone was something i did not expect to happen but now it's something that you got to look forward to in all the rest of the games that are left because right now the only players left are dogs, and it's like, yo, at one point or another, I feel like all of them could hit the zone. So I feel like Kisa might be the most dangerous if he gets in the zone, bro. Because his ability is already, like, kind of tapped. He literally just copies your play style. So if you're doing your play style, and I'm in the zone, I'm playing you better than you play like you. Like, that's crazy. But yeah, that's something to look forward to, man. Great season. Great season. I also think back to, like, the emotional moments when when Tepe was like, damn, bro, I, I really want to play, bro. Like, this is it. This is it. I want to play. But if I choose to do this, then my career is over afterwards. So, um, yeah, they cooked. I remember they cooked on that episode for sure. I still remember that. So, yeah, season two altogether, I think it was better than season one. And even Kuroko, man. Kuroko became a much better player. He became a more well-rounded player. The only thing I will say is we need more of him as like a character, like more more personality or something. You know what I'm saying? Like that's I feel like that's the only thing missing with Kuroko right now. Like he feels he feels a bit stale. You know what I'm saying? Like on the court, yo, he be he be doing his thing. But aside from that, it's like we like you don't really care as much about him as I think you should, because most of that goes into Tepe and Kagami. So hopefully in season three he kind of gets that um he kind of gets that aspect down as a main character, but aside from that man yo, so far so good. This this was a great season and now we're looking forward to season three man. Winter Cup they turning up. Let's see how this plays out bro.
if y'all enjoyed this reaction or this entire season make sure you like comment and subscribe and like i said full versions on the patreon get this like a month ahead at this point so yeah go tap in man appreciate y'all being on the journey so far at 50 episodes down 25 more to go and then i think there's a movie afterwards so yeah season three on the way the final season it's been a journey but we are we we here now so um yeah stay with me so subscribe that's it for now. I'll catch y'all in the next video.